wasn't that just exhilarating. I, I even got a souvenir out of that one. I'm keeping this. I'm keeping this, okay? This is my souvenir for this evening. Well, as you can see, my chair here is empty because my special guest right now is going to be myself. I'm going to introduce you to me, Marie, Candace Marie as your host, but Marie the Marie Effect and tell you a little bit about me and um, kind of what, what the Marie Effect is. I've been in Atlanta for six years. I'm uh, originally from New Jersey. I model, I act, I sing, I dance, I design, I post, I do a whole umbrella of different things. Um, this evening, I was called on the spot to come here, and that's kind of how it goes. Uh, the ball is rolling. Um, to, to let you know a little bit about some events that I've done recently, I've had the honor to walk in um, a fashion show last Friday for Jexina Nelson, which is a celebrity photographer here in Atlanta and New York and LA. Um, and it was a wonderful, wonderful event. It was called Art Fusion. And um, I walked for Tyrell Holmes, or the line is called Dukes and Duchess, which I am the face of. And you can find him on um, his website, which is Tyrell, T-Y-R-E-L-L-L-H-O-L-M-E-S.com. Wonderful designer, Atlanta-based. He's originally from, um, where is Tyrell from? He's originally from Chicago. So um, he's got a lot of flavor, and I love being the face of that line. What that means for me is that um, anything that, any events that he has, he calls me. I'm his right hand. Um, and I, I, I mean, it's just a wonderful opportunity to be a part of a team and to be a muse for a designer. Um, everything that he makes is cut to me. And um, it's really special for me to know that a designer thinks about me when I'm not around, and he gets inspiration from my shape and my, my height and the color of my hair or whatever it is that, that drives him to make the wonderful things that he does with the line that is Dukes and Duchess. But going back to Art Fusion, it was a great mixer. It was a great fashion show to be a part of. There was um, a lot of uh, prestige people in Atlanta that were there, and um, they honored uh, they honored some people in the music industry as well as in the fashion, fashion industry. Um, the day before that, I had the honor of hosting for Chic Republic magazine, and um, I was an interview base, and I interviewed Miss America, well, the one that actually just finished her reign, and I interviewed Miss, uh, Miss West Africa of Georgia, and she was the first of... Um, Georgia to ha be missed West Africa. It was it was a new um, reign in a sense. I interviewed Miss uh, Georgia Latina. She's 19 years old and ready to take this year on and do a lot of charity work and uh, and kind of show Atlanta or I should say Georgia what the Latina con company and and culture can do for um, the world and of course Georgia and. Um, Let's see, who else did I? I interviewed Frank Ski from Frank Ski and Wanda in the Morning. That was interesting to interview someone that does that on a, a regular basis. Um, definitely made me a little nervous, just a little bit, just a tiny bit nervous. Um, but that's kind of, that's just one aspect of the whirlwind that I've had this, this past week. Today I got to shoot with a, a new uh, clothing line called Fly Pelican. Um, they're featured in uh, XXL right now. Little Wayne is on the cover wearing that, that line. And that is actually, that's impressive to me to be able to work with a line that such big, prominent music artists and, um, and, and I mean, fashion industry people are, are really taking heed to this, this line. And I got to do a whole editorial shoot today by myself. Um, I did bring everybody together. I would like to shout out the makeup artist, um, Thomas Bai, um, excuse me, Thomas Dai. Um, he, he and I met in New York during Fashion Week, and um, a part of the Marie Effect is keeping connections. Um, we met, and I've kept up with him, and today is the first day that we got to actually shoot, so you can see my face. Not half bad, right? After sweating in the cheerleading and gymnastics gym that I did my shoot at today. Um, still making face, so I appreciate him today. And um, Ben Brown Photography, you can check him out at Ben Brown Photo, F O T O dot com. He's a wonderful photographer. If, um, if you're looking for someone to work with, definitely um, he has 
Bill Clinton in his portfolio, and of course me. <laughs> so he's he's awesome. I also worked with Chic Republic magazine again. Um, the spread was actually for Chic Republic and Vibe Vixen. Shout out to Mr. Kodak. Um, and uh, we also had uh, Big Mike. He um, he was the videographer of the day, and it was just it was you know it was one of those wonderful kind of things that I happened to network um, from last Thursday with Cheek Republic and put together my connections with everybody and we put together a, a wonderful, wonderful photo shoot today. I'm really excited that you guys can check that out. It will be on flypelican.com, F-L-I pelican.com. Um, what else do I have? I am a Inspire model. I would like to say thank you to Iris for signing me. <laughs> Three years ago, I, um, I did an event uh, at uh, the Kirkwood Station, and it was a winter wonderland. Um, the place at the time was called Couture Inspirations, and um, shout out to Yovana. <laughs> and um, I was the ice princess, and that's how me and my agent, Iris, um, met initially. Well, no, actually, we met initially during a makeup, uh, uh, a makeup, uh, what was it, event that uh, Toy Huggins put together. We were both models that, that evening. We exchanged contacts and we did our first event at um, Kirkwood Station. And ever since we've been linked up and I'm very proud to say that I'm an Inspire model. I've been doing a lot of work through my agency. It's not um, the agencies that you hear a lot about in Atlanta and I love that. I love that we have a chance to grow and that I have a chance to be a part of a team that we are, we're recruiting and um, building our own brand, in a sense. And, and I really appreciate being a part of that. Iris is behind me, so I'm looking at her. So <laughs> I know she's listening. <laughs> um, definitely, a little bit about Inspire is um, we have, that separates us from other um, agencies here, is we do a lot of acting. And that I appreciate. Um, modeling here in Atlanta is urban based. and. I think um, what models don't realize is what lane that they're in and what location that they're in. Um, on, with Inspire, we we kind of changed the whole outlook of modeling here. Um, right now, we're working on a major project called the 502, and that is a sitcom that will um, will be pitching to the CW, and um, we start filming. Actually, we start filming this weekend. And um, it's based in Louisville, Kentucky, and it's about an agency, a modeling agency. And I don't want to give you too many details, but it's it's pretty much competing with the game. I think we're going to be on there. So if you tune in to the CW and you see the 502, make sure you watch it so it gets our ratings up so that we're national. Um, the other projects that Inspire is working on right now is um, definitely we have um, – said the 502 we do a lot of um, networking right now what we're doing is is getting our, our name out there um, we went to the get connected fun, um, uh, I guess it's a, a mixer um, that they have monthly it's every last Thursday in Atlanta and I got the opportunity to finally go and um, got out there and um, interviewed and you know just kind of told everybody about Inspire, and, and um, I was there to represent as well as my agent, um, Iris. And um, we're just, we, I got to meet Bobby Valentino. Um, I got to meet, uh, I mean, a lot of incredible people, and I got to meet up with a lot of people that I know already. Um, the major thing I can say about modeling in, modeling in Atlanta is that um, you have to know your lane. You have to, like I said, you have to know where you are. This is an urban-based industry in Atlanta. And um, they, the one thing that I would say that Atlanta needs to work on is knowing that it's Atlanta and loving and appreciate being Atlanta. You know, every other network deals um, with, you know, their network. New York is New York, and they're not trying to be anything else. And Atlanta is definitely a melting pot right now for fashion and art and music and um, I think they've got the music game on lock right now but it's time for the art and the, and the fashion to get in there um, we uh, we uh, also um, in Atlanta need to realize that uh, 
it's okay to be different and it's okay to be yourself. Um, with it being urban, um, with a line like Fly Pelican that's coming out of Atlanta, that is based out of Atlanta right now, um, it's definitely um, breaking way and letting people know that it's okay to be urban, to dress funky, to dress street attire, whether it be you know high-end street attire, um, the the whole Black Hollywood thing. I mean, I think we I think we should just embrace being. Atlanta. I'm here. I'm originally, like I said, from New Jersey, and I do love Atlanta. I love Atlanta for its culture, and um, I would say the only, the most difficult part for me is knowing that I, I knowing my lane and knowing that um, Atlanta isn't big enough for me. So I'm glad that Inspire is going to other places like Kentucky and um, going to, we, we went to the Bahamas last summer on a, a competition for a photo shoot. And um, I just think that we should, uh, we should all just kind of own up to being what it is that we are here in Atlanta and being the urban market. Um, InspireModelsLLC.com, definitely check us out. Um, our website is growing um, constantly. We're, uh, we just did a great power shoot uh, a couple of weeks ago, and the images came back great. And we're definitely always looking for new talent, not just models. Um, we have stage, play, uh, stage writers and um, uh, singers and, and dancers. And, I mean, it's a whole plethora of things that we do accept. Um, to touch on a few more events that we have coming up, um, not just with Inspire, but myself. Um, I have, um, I will be going to New York. Yay, yay. Leaving the, leaving Atlanta for a little while, going to New York and venture on and trying to book um, Fashion Week. I did walk last year for Marco Hall and I hope to have the pleasure to walk for him again this year. Um, it's, you know, you, to venture out to other networks is probably the best thing I can suggest for anybody that's in the entertainment industry because you want everybody to hear your sound or your, see your talent or anything like that. Um, but also keep your home base. And um, right now, Atlanta is definitely my home base and I appreciate it. Um, but I will be in New York and um, the project that I'll be working on there right now is um, working at FIT. I did work there all last summer and I will be working again there as a post coach. And what that means is um, in the fashion industry, uh, the classes are set up with easels and they're kind of in a semicircle and you stand on a box and for 20 minutes on and 20 minutes off, you have to kind of think at the drop of a dime of, of a pose that they can actually draw. If you had on, if you were to be in a catalog, how could they draw an outfit on you and how would you pose? And um, it seems easy enough. But without a mirror and without somebody saying, no, that doesn't look quite right, it's, it's kind of difficult, but it's, somebody has to do it. And I enjoy working at FIT doing that. Um, like I said, Fashion Week coming up. I will be back here for the beginning of Fashion Week working with uh, a T-shirt line called Sugar Mafia. They're looking for their new face for their line. Um, it is a casting call competition. I will be on the panel of judges along with Ben Brown, who I mentioned earlier, and um, Jason from Be Entertained Magazine. And we have a celebrity stylist, or Lori Swank, who will be on the panel, and um, Kat um, Hollywood, who is an actress. And we're looking for new faces to come out. or judging um, your walk, your look, and a, a monologue as well. Um, and as soon as we do that, the, the winner of those com that competition will be swept off into a photo shoot um, for Be Entertained, styled by um, Orlori, and also being offered a, a modeling uh, position with Inspire. So, I mean, it's a whirlwind of things that I've got going on and that Atlanta has going on. My best advice is go out and um, network and always be true to your brand. And that's about all I can run off for right now. We're definitely going to have another jam out session. You might see me in the camera this time dancing because I was definitely feeling that. You guys are doing your thing. And I appreciate you guys for coming. So we're going to go on to Black Rose.
Greeting. Divine order me free will to the light of my life. Let's get this love and live. Hey, day to day, humble and patient. Put for the air for the change situation. Higher I'm reaching for you. Growing in with you. Is higher. I'm reaching for you.
love and happiness. You give me that peace, 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 love and happiness. Or in black and white, because we creating a great uh, civil nation. Civil nation. Yeah. A great civil nation. To the great Gil Scott Heron. Much love. You better believe it, baby We come forward to nurture Or you both to realize 